Hello, this video is going to be about a fish parasite. Before I talk about it, I need to catch some fish. Here are my fish. You just saw me catching some sand dabs because they live on the sand bottom and are barely moving. They are easily exposed to many parasites. Do you see the parasite on this fish? I'm not sure how many parasites you have found on this fish, but there were at least two parasites shown on that fish. This is one of the two parasites on the fish. However, this is not the parasite that I'm going to talk about. The main one appears soon, don't freak out. This is the parasite I'm going to talk about today. This is Simodoa exigua, also known as the tongue-eating isopod. On sand depths, you can find them under their gills. It is a parasitic isopod of the family Cymodoidae. It is quite widespread and found in various kinds of fish. It has been sampled in waters from 2 to almost 60 meters deep. This enters fish through the gills and then attaches itself to the tongue. The female attaches to the tongue and male attaches to on the gill. Usually females are bigger than males. It extracts blood, causing the tongue to atrophy from the lack of blood. Then the parasite replaces the fish's tongue. It appears that the parasite does not cause much other damage to the host fish. But fish with two or more of the parasites are usually underweight. Once it replaces the tongue, some feed on the host blood, and many others feed on fish mucus. This is the only known case of a parasite assumed to be functionally replacing a host organ. When a fish dies, it will detach itself and leave the fish. Nothing much is known about its life cycle. Usually the small ones are attached to the gills and are males and as they mature, they become females. When there are only two males, the bigger one becomes a female. Then the female attaches to the tongue. These parasites are not harmful to humans. These are the sand dabs I caught today. Do you see anything? When their host fish die, they crawl out of the host fish. Like this one. Although these parasites are visually disgusting, they are not harmful to humans. You can easily clean them by removing the heads or gills. When cooked, these fish are extremely delicious. These are the sand dabs we caught today, we are organizing them. I have collected some parasites that crawled out of the fish. Most of sand dabs and many fish have these parasites. So please don't freak out when you find this little friend. Thank you for watching my video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like my video. Thank you very much.